वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश थर्टी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सपोर्ट एट ए अलाउज द बीम टू स्लाइड फ्रीली अलॉन्ग द वर्टिकल गाइड सो दैट इट कैन नॉट सपोर्ट अ वर्टिकल फोर्स ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम वेयर देर इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड डब्ल्यू एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम द पॉइंट ए आर द सपोर्ट ए अलाउज द बीम टू स्लाइडली to slide freely and there is no vertical force only there will be a movement at this point a so you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let's start with the solution our first step is to um, if we remove the support at point b so definitely there will be a reaction force at point b and if we remove this support so there will be a movement at this point a so we will know this unknown by using equilibrium condition our first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see that there is a moment which is uh, clockwise that is minus m a plus the moment that is due to this load w when converted into point load so it will be w into l and that will be acting at a distance of l by 2 and it is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so plus w into l and it will be acting l over 2 their sum must be equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get this movement at point a will be equal to w l square over 2 now you have this moment you can apply another equilibrium condition and that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so we have only this force w into l that is acting downward plus this for rb their sum must be equal to 0 so w into l is minus plus rb is equal to Zero. So from here you will get R B will be equal to W into L. Now you have these two reaction force. You can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So what we will do is that we will draw two vertical lines from the end of the beam. Let these are the lines, and we will draw the shear force from here. now you can see this is the length of x this is the length of the beam this will be the v now you can see at point a there is no shear force so v point will be equal to 0 at a distance of l of the beam we have rb and this rb is equal to um, w into l clear so w into l let this will be w into l Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, so uh, at first point we have shear force will be equal to zero. Now you can see you have a uniformly distributed load that is downward, so it magnitude will be W into L, and that will be minus W into L till this end B. So let this is your point where you have minus W into L. This is minus W into L. So your shear force will be like this one. This will be a straight line because you can see that uh, your uh, load is a horizontal load with zero degree. So movement uh, shear force will be one degree higher, and it will be a straight line with decreasing slope. Now at this point B, you can see we have a load of W L. So minus W L plus W L will bring it to zero. So at this point we have. this uh moment okay now we will draw the shear force diagram so bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again you have this length x and you will have moment again at point a we have a moment of w l square over 2 so you can see you can take any value plus w l over so let this is your w L square. These are generic values. So let you take any positive value about this axis. So this W L square over two is at this end. And 
you can see the area under this shear force diagram will give you movement at this point clear so what is this what will be the area under this so it since it is triangular so 1 over 2 into its magnitude is minus w into l and length is l which will give you minus w l square over 2 so plus w l square over 2 minus w l square over 2 will give you 0 so at this end you will have movement will be equal to 0 so you will have movement at this point zero now you can see this shear force is a uh, this shear force is a straight line with first degree and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be a second degree and this it will be clockwise so we will draw it like this so this is your bending moment diagram for this loading or beam that is shown over here this is the very simplest and easiest problem i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you haven't subscribed my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the uh, not latest notification about my videos thank you for your support and keep watching take care